Hello, thanks for popping by. So, Happy New Year everybody. Um, I thought I would finally um, pop on and do my lineup for the year. So, I'm going to keep it fairly simple. Um, I bought the B6 Wonderland 222 and um, I found that, look at this, I've got chocolate on my hand, that says it all. Um, <laughs> I found that I just love using this as, a, as kind of like an all-in-one, as a journal for collections. I'm using it as my book journal as well. So um, yeah, I'll show you through that. But I'm also, I did originally get a week's, but I inadvertently bought the, the sneaker, the one with the soft cover, and I was just hating how it wouldn't stay open properly. So um, I actually then went on to um, Paper Test just to have a look what she got because she got a sale and she got the Undated Weekly. So I treated myself to one of those and I've been using it for the last couple of weeks and I've set it up and I absolutely love it. I'm so chuffed with it. So um, I'll show you through that as well. Um, so uh, the Paper Test Weeks uh, in here, I also bought myself... Um, match i love this green um i bought it for my personal wide rings as well so let me just show you that show you this one so i have this as well so i kind of have all three um as a matching set i'm not going to go through this one you've seen it before this i'm using now as just a reference so i keep it in here kind of like um regular bills that have to go out any information just things i want to keep so this is more of a, a reference kind of planner more of a reference binder than anything else really um i haven't done anything different to it since um since i think i, I showed you through it before so it's just set up with lots of pretty bits and then an, um an inbox and then yeah i'm just referring to this as and when i need to um there's information in here so um i'll be keeping track of some things in my other two and then like things such as like last time we did so certain things like change the filter on the we've got um, a kettle that has a filter in it so change the filter change the filter on the water jug that kind of thing so just keep track of those dates but they'll be kept in here as a reference so that's that because i love that green i'm like i had to buy the others and then i managed to get some pens as well on amazon it was a pack of um of these they're absolutely gorgeous all different vintagey colors and i'll be honest i completely bought it just for this color but it came with loads of refills as well so um i've got some spare ones and you know i've passed some of those on however yeah i've green so to the point of i bought um i bought a second pack so i've got one for each one to keep on it so yeah that's the main thing and then i also managed to get the matching tweezers um a relatively similar green um from color cafe so really chuffed so we've gone green for 2024 no idea where that's come from but i'm absolutely loving it so yeah so let me show you this one first so this is actually kind of like my planner if you like um so this is kind of like daily plans um i'm off work still now i've still got another week off i booked myself some extra leave for christmas break because january tends to be kind of when my husband can get leave because he works in retail so i've booked some extra time off so i've had a lovely long break um three weeks in total which is unheard of i've never had two weeks off let alone three so i've tagged a couple of extra to manual leave on the end and just been so chilled and relaxing and yeah just enjoying my planners and journaling and catching up on sleep and just 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 kind of chilling really so nothing major um we didn't do anything major over christmas or new year either again it was very chilled so um so yeah but this is going to be kind of like my planner planner if you like and yeah it will be my work to do's and things like that as well as we go into um, when I'm back to work so let me show you so it's very simply decorated here at the minute um, I've got a little bit of vellum here from um, I think this one was sterling ink um, and a sterling ink card and then I've got a grumpy tortoise um, I wanted a planner but I accidentally joined a cult sticker which is just super cute I tend to pop this in um, as many as um, I can so a DPR for Grumpy Tortoise and um, I have just been chosen to carry on into the next um, kind of 
season I guess so I'll still be continuing to peel off a grumpy tortoise so you can find my code below I do have a code it's Marie15 for 15% any order and you get some freebies um, and Linda's kind of changed the freebies up now so you can build up your freebies as some deco and some different bits and pieces and kind of to build up a full kind of kit you can choose journaling or um, hobo cousin and it's just a brilliant idea and they are absolutely gorgeous so pop over um, and have a look or have a look at my Instagram because the pictures and that are on there and it's cheery.raven.plans um, on Instagram as well but again everything is linked below so excuse me <coughs> so what also I've got here is I've got um, I've got the Graceful Muse Advent Calendar um, and this was one of the pins that was in it it's really beautiful so I've popped these um, the other two that I've got are in my other one which you'll see shortly and then I had to get my um, typical each year from um, Oh Hello Feelings. So the lovely um, Georgia over at Oh Hello Feelings um, does these and they're fabulous. So I've got this and a Word of the Year one. So I bought a few of those. But yes, yeah, so this is my um, uh, Paper Test Designs Weekly. So let's pop in. So I just decorated the inside very simply um, with the, some vellum um and um some paper from graceful muse again i think I'm trying to think was this the advent i think these were the advent or this might have been the january subscription um i'm not sure but i have started kind of using that but if you pop over and have a look again um the info's there so then i've just got this that was part of the advent as well just a little quote um and a little sticker here and uh, just a name vinyl i think that one was um i think that was part of my rebel ink um advent but i'm not 100 percent sure yeah and this was this is part of rebel ink as well and then i just added on one of the little flowers that was on the same sheet as the quote um and this is actually um i hope a week's pocket so just put it on that way um and then i just put a little piece of vellum inside just to hide the magnets on the other side for uh for the uh, for the pin okay so then i just did a little um intro page and i wanted this nice and bright and colorful so i used various bits these are from the uh rebel Ink co um advent um this one is from oh hello feelings and these are all oh hello feelings as well so this is the same as the name one but it's just my word of the year so i've decided my word of the year this year is B so there's numerous connotations to that that kind of mean a lot for me so I just learn need to learn to be in the moment and just be and not keep thinking about things that have gone by not keep thinking about about the future and just try and be in the moment and just take that through mindfully into 2024 and be in as much as trying to kind of like live a little bit more rather than just kind of existing um do a little bit more push myself a little bit more maybe so yeah i thought that was quite appropriate then another sticker from oh hello feelings i've already mentioned these are all <laughs> from oh hello feelings so pray to say i take my meds so i've got another similar one from sunshine lane as well she does a similar one which is amazing um so yes yeah, so i just think that's really important um and then i just thought this was really cute because yeah membership card and you're paid in full to the anxiety club so yeah definitely okay so um then oh by the way this i think i already mentioned i'm not sure this was the undated weekly from paper tests so because this is the first time i thought undated would be perfect if i decide i don't want to do a week or it's too much with my um other one as well i don't have to um because it's undated i'm not going to waste anything i'm not going to feel that extra pressure um however this is kind of like just my my daily this is the one that's going to be open on my desk particularly when i'm back um at work um, whereas the other one's a bit more journaly so but you'll see that shortly so um these bits are kind of like the the yearly overview um and i added in these calendar stickers again this was from my rebel ink um advent so they've worked really well on there um 
didn't really think about using those to start with and then I was kind of just playing yesterday and I thought yes that'll be perfect so yeah so that's the full year there um, and then we've got the monthlies now I don't really so let me just show them yeah take the clip out so I'm not sure how or even if I'm going to use these because I'm using the month I don't really use a monthly particularly anyway apart from just a calendar so um yeah so kind of um I'm not quite sure how I'm going to use it or if I'm going to use them but they're there if I need them I mean if anything I can put uh, full page stickers over them and use them as extra although there's so much space in here we don't really need to but they're there so for the time being I've just got them clipped with um, a drop clip um so yeah they're just they're there if I need them so then we come first into January so again I've used graceful muse here so this has reminded me it was definitely the January sub because I used this as a piece of the vellum and then this here is actually um, the January sticker that came with the sub so I think that really fits really nicely and then this is um, a rub on sticker from some rub on stickers that I got from uh, Charter 81 who I also PR for so uh, yeah again I've got a code for Charter 81 all the info is down below so um, I've got some just plain tabs and I'm just, just going to tab this one as I go. Um, so I've just put a, some clear tabs. So I've got this in the Southwest Planner Club um, event box because I'm going to be attending the online event um, next Saturday, which is the 13th of January. So this was just um, a tab that was in there and I found some small scripts. So I added a January script and then I've just put some crackle kind of um overlay over the top just to strengthen it my uh good friend becca uh specs page on youtube if you want to take a look um she uh, was doing this on her tabs and i just thought it worked really well and it just does give it that extra bit of strength because these are paper ones but i just think it looks so pretty so this has been uh, this week so the way i've been using it so i've just been kind of noting any appointments um anything of you know interest that kind of need to to remember for that week i bought these little trackers from thumbelina print um you'll see some more bits and pieces that i bought from thumbelina print kind of um in my in my other one in my b6 so it's just a sleep tracker so i'm tracking it here so i can see it but also this is going on to my main tracker in my b6 as well so although it's kind of repeated this is something i like to to keep track of um, so this will be this week so again when I'm moving to work this will be filled probably with different to do's for um, for work and what's going on that week um, appointments or things to note for individual days or things I have to do on specific days when I'm back in work but here we've just got a few again bits and pieces um, so nothing to do with it being new year I just decided I wanted to cut back on caffeine because I found I was having a lot of coffee so I'm still drinking coffee but I'm only having decaf because I have pods. I've got a pods machine and I use pods. Um, so yeah, and this is just a reminder that, yeah, different reminders for the week. Then for the timed section here, I am going to kind of change this up, I think. I did um, put a timeline in which I haven't really used, but I put that in just to kind of see how that would fit. I think again when I'm back at work, be more relevant because I can plan my day and if I've got meetings and things so that's probably how I use it but then I've used this this week to track the weather and to track my mood which I think has worked really well um these are little tiny stickers from the grumpy tortoise so little mini uh, weather ones you can buy them individually um or you can buy a whole pack with like kind of all the weather and like, all the moods um and you know they're just really good really cool so I added a a today's highlight a gratitude and a happy mail as well so this again these will probably change up depending on the need um for the week and then i've just got another blank one so if i needed to add anything else in i can there so that was um this week i'm filming this on uh sunday the 7th so uh end of the week so as you can see that's how it's gone so i've set up 
next week already so this is how it's looking um, for next week so I've just been using mainly deco journaling kits and things the shops I'm pretty much using a majority of the time now are grumpy tortoise for certain deco certain stickers and scripts and things like that but the majority of my deco is coming from little bloom papery alvi planning um because i've got their sub and it's just beautiful um little bloom has also started a sub which i'm very excitedly waiting for for the first one and um, supposed to arrive in january um graceful muse and this one this is oodle my doodles so she's got a very similar aesthetic as well kind of style um that you can pick and like i say this is oodle my doodles this one's slightly different the paper's very different it's very thin kind of like the other shops but this one's a bit more vinyl-y um yeah it's got an interesting texture and quite a quite a vinyl-y chemical um smell to it as well which i don't mind doesn't bother me at all but it is quite prominent so if you are a bit funny with smells just bear that in mind they do have quite a strong yeah i would say it's kind of like a yeah vinyl-y smell if that makes any sense i don't I don't know um but I've set up this coming week um in my b6 with this kit as well so um yeah I can show you that shortly so yeah so that's how it goes so this week I've got to do's um my husband's off as well like I said this um this coming week so just in case you have any errands we've got to do again gratitude I'm a happy male and I want to kind of just track random thoughts that i'm having kind of like a mini brain dump maybe so i'm going to start taking this up to bed with me and then in the night if anything jumps in my head that i kind of just want to know um i've got the space here and then um there's loads of space in the back as well so yeah so basically how this goes now is all of the weeks and they're all blank i just love this layout. You know, it's so versatile even though it's kind of all mapped out for you Obviously, you can use these any way you want. You could even put a larger sticker over here if you didn't want to use it. Or if you wanted this as more blank space, you can do that too. Very versatile and obviously you can use it differently each week. I particularly like how this is all set out as well. Um, so you've got all the weeks, which is brilliant. But then in the back of this, it's a bit like the Mega Weeks from um, Obinichi. You've got page one. 200 and i think that's 35 so you've got all of these blank notes pages as well so you can use those for daily journaling for daily daily to do's or whatever you actually want um this will probably be more of like a scratch area if i've got to take kind of random notes if i'm in meetings and things or um if i'm out because this will be um my um everyday carry as well so if I'm out and I suddenly need to jot something down, it'll be that kind of thing that will be in here. So probably not particularly decorative or anything like that. Just more literal kind of day-to-day um, -day notes paper, which is kind of like exactly what this is. I'd say this is my planner, as in this is where all my information, my brain, my reminders and those kind of things um, will be going in, in here. So, so yeah, so that's my paper test weeks and yeah i'm really chuffed with it i just and obviously it's green because <laughs> 2024 is the year of green apparently so yeah so that's that one and then this i have a totally well fallen in love with both of them but this in particular oh, just absolutely completely in love i didn't um th i mean the size is ideal it's b6 it's just great but i just didn't think i'd come back to a bound book quite so quickly um but this there's so much versatility in this um and yeah I'll, I'll take you through it i'm sure a lot of you've seen kind of what it looks like it is a stacked because it's a b6 so um wonderland do to do do do, do. wonderland 222 do do an a5 that's unstacked as well stacked and unstacked this is the b6 is stacked but that's totally fine with me I'm finding it's got plenty of room. So I've just got an Ollie clip here that I bought in a D stash. Um, again, because of the colour, pretty much. 
and then I've got a little bit more decorativeness going on in here so I've got another one of the um, Oh Hello Feelings name ones I've got some sorry about that glare I've got some vellum under here which is again the vellum from Graceful Muse because I just adore it and then I've got the bloom pin which was in the Graceful Muse um, advent and then over here I've got my planning is my therapy pin which again was in the Graceful Muse um, advent I've got a beautiful moon pin from Colour Cafe then I've got a little, um, this was in um, a Rebel Ink um, Co sub. I want to say it was the November one because it's thankful. So I think it's like Thanksgiving themed. But I just thought it was really lovely. So I laminated this in a little laminating pouch and, um, and popped that in there just to remind me to be thankful for things. Not necessarily just all the things that are on there because it's quite autumnal. Um, but, and you know thanksgiving kind of theme you can read that if you can just see but yeah just to be thankful so that's there um i've got some mini dots um just in case i need them and i've got the little mini ruler that again got in my graceful muse advent which is a lovely little size and then i've got this fabulous um sticker that came in my order from um Krilla cafe um she's done so much kind of coffee themed which I know is kind of her theme overall, Colour Cafe, um, but she's done more that's a little bit more like like coffee bags and things that your things come in. It's just so cute. And this just says, Pla uh, certified planner lover, um, have a cup of creativity at Colour Cafe. And yeah, very much uh, my kind of aesthetic and, and fun. So I love that. So I've popped that in there. Um, I think I will probably end up laminating that. <coughs> excuse me she's also got that as a pin which i'm very tempted to uh, to grab i think um and then i've got my plan pin from twines and paper which is like the diptyque candle style i have got a coffee one of these as well i'd got it on my pin board um in the other room but for some reason it fell off i've got the back which is usually the bit you lose i've got the back but i can't find the front bit i really don't know what's happened I think it's probably gone down the, the back of the cabinet that's there and then i've just got a couple of pieces of um again paper this um just a piece again i think this matches this from um graceful muse just put that in there because it's like how it looked and it's a little bit of an off cut and then i believe this is a journal card or a just um yeah it's color cafe it's um just thank you card from Eileen for the order but I just thought it was really pretty so just pop that in there for now again just to give the edge of the pockets a little bit of something um, and my mini Ollie clips are from Char Tracy one and these come in the same kind of set with the same kind of uh, similar tones so um, this little clip here extra clip this was in a set I bought from Sainsbury's it's kind of um, a cute little mesh bag with some bits and pieces in that all kind of again another gold cute ruler but they all kind of matched and um the bag is really nice and again it was this kind of green so you know that's why i bought it and i'm just keeping my olive green mod liner in there so it's it's to hand so my opening pages i've got again apologies for the glare so you can probably see a bit of sparkle on there this is a sticker book from a shop on etsy it's not um a common one i've used just found it's just looking for frenchy um bits and pieces after we got luna um and i just thought it was just perfect because it's so like her and uh, adding my little um gothness so the vinyl is from grumpy tortoise that was um uh, bespoke made and then I've got her paw print over here which I've covered in some sparkle vinyl as well and then I've just got a few bits and pieces so this is um really lovely typewriter sticker that says you can start writing a new story at any time which I very much believe in I'm not one for new year me or of that kind of rubbish um I think you can start a new journey whenever you feel that you're ready for that and then again my word of the year the closest I get to anything kind of new year -y, I guess so um then I've got another opening page so I've got my moon calendar for 2024 which gives me all my moon phases this is from the crafty planner 
Um, again, this was from Crafty Planner. Um, she popped this in um, an order. I think I've done the haul for this. So 12 new chapters, 366 new chances. Again, a bit new yearly, but still, I just loved um, that concept. And because my um, book journal bits and pieces are in here as well, I just thought it was quite appropriate. Um, <coughs> excuse me, apologies for the cough. I am going to try and do this now, edit, so do apologise for having um, to clear my throat. Um, this is an older one from Oh Hello Feelings. Um, so this is another kind of one of the, the name ones. Um, yeah, again, quite appropriate in that sentiment. But hopefully, I really want to stay in this for the full year. So I'm hoping that'll do. Um, and these bits are just beautiful. And again, these were from my Rebel Ink Co. Um, advent. So then I took inspiration from the lovely Emma over at Sunshine Lane. And I did an About Me page. She's got a great video um, kind of about doing a page like this that is much better than I could ever explain so if you want to kind of go over there and, and give that a watch um, I will um, link her YouTube down below as well so again I'm just using I've got various these I had made uh, Grumpy Tortoise so these are all um, kind of custom ones and you can have these done uh, these bright coloured ones and she's got smaller um, scripts and things and vinyls lots of different things that she'll do got my little character so this is just all about my youtube and things this is all about how much i was enjoying kind of like the happy mail and getting advents and things and how much i'm loving my planning this planner this i've put it isn't about me but it's a snapshot from december 2023 so what i'm planning on doing is kind of doing another one in july and then next december so kind of snapshots across the year just about my love of coffee this is just a little bit about my health in general kind of what i want to work on and look at and just a few things that i'm watching loving reading at the minute and just a little bit about work and where things are at work and then just obviously a little bit about my luna because she's my joy um particularly so just a little bit there family time um and just how much joy that she's bought um bought to us as a family so then we're into kind of like the over overview of the year so um this was from grumpy tortoise um it's just a, a calendar one i just wanted something that looked a bit prettier so um i have put some floral stickers on here from um i think little bloom but yeah they're not showing up too well um i'm not going to take them off but they're there but they just look like blodges on the page <laughs> I don't think I've picked the right stickers to go over there. But yeah, just an overview. So just things on here at the minute. So I've just got birthdays marked on. Um, we don't have too many family birthdays. So I have got a spread about that later on. But anything kind of I want to mark, it's there. Again, I don't really use these particularly. Um, but they're there if needed. Then we've got a yearly overview. Again, at the minute, I've just got kind of annual leave and birthdays marked on there. I would like to utilise this for something different, but there's so much kind of in this in this planner that you can use for tracking and different things like this. So it's quite difficult to choose what you want to do where, but it's there if I need it. Um, I've done it all in pencil in case I change my mind. Then you've got your quarterly monthlies. Um, so in here, I've just added in at the minute again, birthdays, annual leave. And I've also added in the, the pagan sabbats for the year. Um, and when they are um, so yeah those stickers are from Persephone's Boutique they're the Demoji ones so you've got your different quarters so here you could you do goal tracking or whatever else I'll probably add in again this will probably be more around tracking things from work I would imagine when when that starts again so and then your fourth quarter and then you've got a couple of blank pages of notes so then I've just tipped in some um, more beautiful paper and then I've got this pocket again I believe this was from Grumpy Tortoise and then I've got a sheet of the Diptyque um, coffee stickers from um, Twice and Paper which are just really cute and then on the back I've got another little um, Hobo Weeks um, corner pocket this is one I've got left over from previous um, previous uh, weeks 
and then there's just my sheet of uh, custom Luna Cuddles um, stickers again for the Bumpy Tortoise so that's just in there so that there and then the trackers so Wonderland TT2 has a uh, tracker for each uh, for each month and it actually with this one started December so I was able to start it early so what I've done in the top section, let me show you a blank one. So this is a blank one for February. So I've kind of then just added in the hours, um, but I use this as a, a 1 to 10. It's hours for sleep, and then it's a 1 to 10 rating for anything else. 1 being the worst, 10 being, sorry, 1 being the lowest, 10 being the highest. So here I've tracked my sleep. Um, and anxiety which I pretty much kept up with brain fog um, I dropped off it wasn't really something um, I kind of lost track of it there so it, it kind of didn't carry on but I always find it really interesting kind of how the month goes then I was tracking how many pods I was having a day caffeine wise this is kind of what's pushed me to kind of you know um, cut it down and and kind of stop um this was just one of my meds that i take and as and when i had and just to track that i had um happy mail when i hadn't hadn't had any and i've been having a bit of a trouble with a bit of an upset tummy so i was just tracking when um when that was as well and then i'd added mood in here as well so i'd gone from okay neutral meh cranky overwhelmed and anxious just again so i could keep track of that but i've now moved that kind of i think more into the um into the paper test but i might add this on so i've um done january so i've just changed this up slightly so again i've just got sleep and anxiety um and then again i've got um just a few symptoms that i've been having that i wanted to track just with regards to my my hrt journey really because also i kind of think i need to go back to the gp to have that amended a bit so yeah and then happy mail when i've done insta post i have done quite a few actually and i haven't marked them on so i need to go back and do that and then any um youtube videos just so i can see how many i'm doing um i'm very aware that I'm not posting regularly um and that's fine because i don't feel that i've got enough kind of content to bring you all the time but i still want to do little bits and pieces like this and doing the odd plan with me um, but I don't think I'm ever going to be kind of a YouTuber that has regular posting kind of um, every week. So, but who knows, it might change as the year goes along. So, yeah. Um, and I'm sure you guys are, are fine with that. It's always nice just to have the odd new video from somebody different to watch, isn't it? Rather than just your regulars. So, yeah. So, again, we've got all of the all of those trackers for the year then into another notes page then again i've tipped in um another sheet um again these papers i think these were um <coughs> they'll either be sterling ink or graceful muse um i th think these might be the sterling ink ones i'm not sure i'm sure you recognize them um if you're aware of them so then again we come into um what the Wonderland 222 has so we've got a December overview so we just added some bits here and then added some highlights for each week I split it into weeks here and then the monthly so the way I've used the monthly here is I have got the wacky holidays um from oh gosh uh paper share so I've got the wacky holidays from paper share um paper shire depending on how you want to say it so not to to Leah just <laughs> As <laughs> you mentioned before, I said paper shire. Um, it's just my Midlands accent. I think I just say shire rather than shire. Um, yeah, just a regional thing, isn't it? I guess. So yeah, and just any kind of annual leave and bits and pieces like that. Our birthday, so just a general calendar. But I just think it looks so cute, and I really love these um, wacky hot the day stickers. And then into my week, so I've been decorating these with um, kind of like the kits I mentioned from the shops um, before. Um, I've just covered up anything that's just a little bit more personal. But I'm actually using this for, for journaling each day. So each section is kind of, you know, 
um, just a bit about the day and I'm absolutely loving this um, and the other thing I'm loving about it is just how the writing just kind of it does um, like um, indent and, and shadow a bit on the other side but I, I kind of love that I think it's because the pen I use these pens obviously they're quite they're quite thin it's quite a fine um, tip um, but I love that so obviously you do get a bit more of a pointy in the um in the page but i love it and it's kind of gone all crinkly and yeah just part of that just loving that whole kind of kind of um vibe for it so again these started in december so i was able to start this is a gorgeous kit so this was um let me just do that just to yeah because they were a little bit see through those post-its uh so this is a specific kit for the B6 Wonderland 222 that the Crafty uh, Planner has done. So lovely Jodie over there. Um, she did a few of them for me. I ordered hobo kits, hobo cousin kits, and um, in the specific art, and then she formatted them to these for me. Um, and again, I think they're in a haul, but they just fit perfect and they're gorgeous. So um, I've got a few of them, but it's not that I'm going to be particularly using a kit too often, but I do kind of really like um, how these have come out. It is really pretty. Um, so there's that option there um, for that anyway, just if needs be. And then back to kind of um, another kit. This is an LV Planning one, I believe, from one of her subs. Again, just using and doing the, the same thing. Christmas kit, I believe this one. I think this is I'll be planning as well. I think these are all the I'll be planning um subs. Yeah, that's very much I'll be planning, isn't it? So yeah, it's basically colour cafe, I'll be planning, little blue and papery, graceful muse, and oodle my doodles that are my kind of main go-to shops for this kind of style at the minute. And I just love that the stickers are thinner. Um, I tend to have them on transparent as well just because I think they just blend in nicer and yeah so gorgeous 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 so um, and then again um, and then any happy mail or, or any other bits that have happened for that day I'm just kind of tracking at the bottom this is the only kind of like that's not kind of just thoughts feelings or about the day kind of things um so yeah um these um stickers for the the, the holidays they're from color cafe <coughs> sorry excuse me and then you've got your december review so here i just put down um i'd seen this online and i just thought it's really good really brilliant idea mm -hmm. so i haven't done kind of intentions or particularly um I kind of have done goals i'll show you that in a second but they're not like goals goals as i'd imagine definitely not new year's resolutions but i just love this kind of um things to leave behind in 2023 and i thought that really worked on the december review page then i did a tip in just so i can uh, separate this out um so i knew this was moving forward for 2024 and um, this was graceful news i think i believe from the advent and then the january overview page um use the sticker here uh a january sticker i think this uh, trying to think what shop that was I, i'm not going to commit because i can't remember exactly who that was i think it may have been no i'm not committing because i'm not sure and then something i picked up uh taking inspiration from leah at the leah way um she's a shop owner of charter 81 that i do pr for so it's 10 realistic things um to achieve in 2024 but i've kind of just changed that a little bit and i've just changed it to my 10 realistic things to work on for 2024 not necessarily things i want to achieve as such although they kind of are but they're definitely things that i want to work on do more of and and work forward um towards so just things such as my eating habits um i need to be kind of more mindful about um eating well particularly to help support my symptoms that i'm having with for uh, menopause and things like that 
just to work on continually journaling this is making that really easy and i'm loving that um to practice gratitude you know to try and be more positive and kind of try and find the positive in everything and be uh, grateful for that um setting and sticking to boundaries i'm um, struggled with that so much with friend groups with relationships with work in particular and that's something i definitely want to take into 2024 um, and something I want to be stricter with. I want to, you know, be more kind of mindful about saying no to things and not just be like, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, that's fine, and trying to be the people pleaser that I kind of um, feel that I always am. So more walks and trips with Luna, more National Trust um, visits, um, read more, and that does include moving forward into kind of like listening to more books on Audible as well. I've set myself a challenge, um, 2024 is the year I turn 50, which oh, just, I didn't have any problems turning 40, but like the thought of being 50, I don't know if it, I wouldn't say it freaks me out, but it just, oh, I don't know, just there's something there that kind of just, just, yeah. So <laughs> I've set up a little thing of to do 50 fun things before I turn 50, which is in October, so hopefully that's fairly realistic um i'm not going to make it so that they're massive things just 50 fun things that i've enjoyed doing and made a note of and then to be intentional um be intentional with my my spending my thoughts my journaling my everything that i kind of do really and just making sure that you know that's that's the thing i've only got to eight um and i don't really i can all around them but i can add that on um obviously i could always put it over here if i wanted to um so i'll either change this up and make this eight or i will add on um it's probably a few things that i might want to add there so um yeah again i've set out my uh, four weeks of the month and just to add a highlights and little just bits and pieces that i want to uh, speak of um to do with the week again another um setup for the month I've used my, <coughs> excuse me, Colour Cafe. So looking at that, I'm pretty sure that is the Colour Cafe <laughs> January sticker. Um, so Colour Cafe uh, monthlies. So yeah, and I've added in the kind of date dots. And again, these are the wacky holidays from um, Paper Share. So yeah, some really full, fun ones. So today's the 7th. So apparently it's um, Old Rock Day. So there you go, let's celebrate old rocks. And tomorrow is bubble bath day, which is annoying because I don't have a bath anymore, but you know, never mind. Play God Day on um, Tuesday. <laughs> okay, it's very strange. But yeah, they're really fun. And I love the kind of little artworks and sticker images. So yeah, I'll be carrying on doing that. 21st is squirrel day. Chocolate cake day, very important day to celebrate. I'm gonna have to make sure that happens. Right, so that's that. And then in again to the week. So these are pretty standard now. This kit, I'm just going to start and make a little note of the kit I've used as well, just because I think oh, that's a nice idea. So this is Little Bloom and it's the Hazel kit. So again, this is a bit of tumnal, um, but I loved the, um, the deer, the stag here, and just the mushrooms. So I thought, little um, hedgehog as well, but I just thought, I'm not particularly precious when it comes to seasonal um stickers and things so but you know i thought coming into the new year and yes i know these are very autumny but still to me it's a feels kind of like the right kind of vibe so yeah and it's just because i want it to look pretty um and then i've set up next week so this is the oodle my doodles kit it's called night reading um it's the same kit i've set up for this week in um my paper test this they're not transparent again like i said her sticker paper's like a little bit vinyl-y um but they're still so super thin which i think for a vinyl sticker is um is really cool but i just love these muted kind of blues and greys so that's how that's looking so i have fully tabbed um this one um these tabs are from the appointed shop i actually bought these in the d stash um, and then what I've done is I've just gone through and added a little bit of the kind of overlay sparkle um, paper just to make them stand out a little bit so they look pretty. So yes, yeah, so the way um, this kind of works is you've got your weeks 
um, and then you've got your overview sorry your review for the month and your overview and that gives a really good point you can tip in there a page for your new month if you want to do that as well to split it then you've got your monthly and then your weeks carry on and that I particularly like I much prefer to have the monthlies and then carrying on into the weeklies rather than having all the monthlies bunched at the front um, I don't know it just works better with my brain so yep so that goes through the full year and then what is amazing so this is the all-in-one um three six stacked again it's stacked because you've got your saturday and sunday stacked which like i said it's not too much of a bother for me at all at the end of the year you've got a december review and a blank page so i guess you could do um a yearly overview here and then it comes into the notes pages so you've got in the back of here the numbered as well there's 576 so plenty enough if you want to use daily you can see they're split here they're timed down here 24 hour clock and then split at the top and a wider one at the bottom but obviously you can see where the you know your um pages can be quartered so you can use these however you want i'm using them at the minute for just collections and things so the first thing i've got is kind of like um this was a pen test of all the pens in my Greta creates um pen advent then i've got a page with all little bits and pieces from different shops that i've bought from so you know little extra stickers and bits and bobs and from orders from all the kind of little independent um independent shops um and i'll make another page when that's full then i've just got a pen test couple of pages and then um my online shopping tracker so just things i'm waiting on and i've bought then i put these ones in that i printed off these are just um print offs from etsy so i've got a bookshelf for books that i want to kind of look at january to june and then july to december um this is cute it's nice and it's nice to add on but there's not necessarily a lot of space particularly in my size writing to add the titles so i'll use it and i'll add them in but i don't think it's the best way of tracking but yeah it's cute then i did this spread this is my 50 fun things to do before i'm 50 so just listed 50 added some deco these are bits from the uh rebel ink um advent and then this is some washi that came with my cute stickers only advent and this is just a progress tracker and there's 50 leaves on here so each time that i add one i'll just color in a leaf as we go i just thought it made a, a nice little spread so then i've got birthdays and events this is a, a sticker from thumbelina print you get all these different bits and you can just put it out how you want and these um as well so it's really cool then i got um some kind of just head headers again from some Belina print with to do with book journaling so these are books i kind of want to read um and then i put a book of the month and then i've used my monthly balloon stickers from again rebel ink um, advent so we've got these in quarters as well then i've got a quotes page for any quotes that i see that i want to collect and then i've got my reading tracker so i've got a tracker for each um, month and I've just added here whether I've um, read that day or whether it's audio. You can do these to kind of mark a colour of how many pages you've read. Um, I don't necessarily want to track in that amount of detail. I just want to track if I've read or listened to an audio book or whatever that day. This um, is a book list for books that I didn't finish. <laughs> I think there'll probably be a few on there. I do get bored and fed up. I'm like, oh, I can't be bothered to finish this. So that's there um and then just general kind of reading journal page just with um kind of what you want to do for the year so i'm only going to set myself 24 um i don't have a great deal of time to actually read so two books a month for me is um i know many people read a lot more but if i can read one or even two books a month that would be perfect for me so so yeah that's that's basically it as far as i've got I have ordered the Whisperer um, book journal advent as kind of an overstock. Um, so I'm waiting for that to come. So there'll be a lot more of these bits and pieces that I can add in as it goes along. And then in the back, I'm just keeping the bits from the kits that I'm using that week um, in the pocket. 
um but that's it pretty much so yeah that's my apologies <laughs> There you go, Luna wanted to make her presence known in the video. So, um, yeah, so that's my lineup uh, for this year and my flip through of where I am so far. Um, so, thank you so much for popping by. Thank you to all the new subscribers, particularly Leah, for uh, kind of mentioning me on one of her videos, and that's brought a few, um, a few of you newbies across. So, thank you. Um, so yeah, let me know kind of what you want to see um, and yeah, we'll, we'll carry on. But thank you so much. Happy New Year and I uh, hope you're all really well. Take care. Bye bye.